Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hey. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. <laughs> to begin in the week. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna start Hi. now, right? Okay. Good. Hello, good evening. Hello, Aide. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi. Okay. Please use the mask when you cook. <laughs> <laughs> It, it might be, it may be dangerous for the for the computer. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, what what happened, Eduardo? Are you are you okay? Uh, a little battle or my bronchitis. Okay, bronchitis. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but then you have to be careful, right? Right. Yeah, no, don't don't go out. Okay, great. All right, so then uh, we have Aide. Aide, did, did you solve the problem with the exercise? I teacher, yes. Okay, good. Uh, did you get the message from Investor Corporativo about the, the platform? Have you completed all the exercises? Make sure you you complete all the exercises, right? If you have any doubts or questions, let me know so that we can find a way to to, to do the exercise. Okay. All right. Okay. What do we have for today? Wait a minute. Okay, here we have Okay, let's see if us it's kind of a slow today, the, the platform. All right, can you see it now? Yes? Yes, oh, yes, good. yes. Okay, this is the topic for today. Okay. So we're going to have, uh, Aide, can you please read this uh, objective here, please? Okay, by the end of this class, you will be exposed to adverbial cause of time, what they are and their use. Just 
and they are uh -huh, and their use, right? So then at very closest of time, what they are and their use. Pay attention to how they are structured and the words that they are going to use in the video, right? If you can take notes, it would be a good idea, right? Okay, let okay, okay teacher. Just let me see if um, the volume, no problem here. Now let's listen for the first time. Hi, I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. An adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. It stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial clauses of time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when, after, before, since, until, while, whenever. We invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated and another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Let's analyze this sentence. When is a subordinating conjunction or adverb. She is the subject, comes the verb. Now, when she comes home, altogether is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. She will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. <clears throat> okay, the information that you have before, uh, I mean, it seems to be simple, uh, it's short, but it requires you not to, to practice it, right? Now, I would like to know if you have questions in this moment, because uh, before we do this exercise, we're going to watch the video again, okay? And I will post the video to explain some things and to emphasize, right? So that at the end, you can do the exercise individually. Hi, I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you- Okay, to start with, an, a clause, a close, remember, is a sentence, okay? Pay attention to this, sentence. A close is a sentence, right? Uh, you say a close of time when you use when, before, or after, because when is referring to time. When in what moment? Before, before what time? Before what moment? Or after, right? After what event? Or after what moment? Okay. So close is a sentence. Then after in the video, you will see what is the difference between, between a dependent and independent close, or dependent or independent sentence. Your hint, an adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. It stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial clauses of time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. After the food is served, the
The guests give speeches or sing songs. Before. Okay. People get married in Japan. Right. So then, this in this sentence, you have something that is a complete idea. It's clear when you say people get married in Japan. Yes, people get married in El Salvador is something normal, right? Uh, people in the United States get married, okay? Or people get married in the United States. They sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Okay, this one you need more information. Okay. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify because they begin with a subordinating conjunction. For example, when, after, before, since. Okay, when, after, before, since, until, wire, and never. These are conjunctions because conjunction is a word that links that put together two sentences okay so that is a conjunction sometimes they can be at the beginning of the sentence or they can be in the middle in the middle okay. all right so these are you know what they call that's what they call subordinated conjunctions until while whenever we invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference you may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated, and another sentence being independent or... Okay, if you see here, main clause, she's saying the, uh, she's saying uh, uh, sentences, right? Listen again. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, Okay, two sentences, or the two clauses, it's the same thing. One sentence being called dependent or subordinated, and another... Okay, one is dependent, and the other one is dependent, the main clause. Uh, if you can find some logic, you find logic that independent means that is a sentence that doesn't need another sentence to explain the meaning. Okay, when I say, for example, I like to play soccer, okay, what do you understand? That I like to play soccer, I don't need to say more, right? Now, if, but if I say, for example, uh, a, I enjoy it before, before I start, okay, if, for example, before, before I start. Then when you say before I start, before what? Mm -hmm. what? Right? This one is more dependent. Okay? Uh, I warm up before I start playing. Okay? I say before I start playing. Uh -huh. Before I start, I start playing what? Okay? Uh, when I play soccer, I warm up before I start playing. So you see one sentence needs the yes. other one to explain. But in other cases, the sentence, there are some sentences that don't need an explanation, right? Another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Let's analyze this sentence. When is a subordinating conjunction or adverb. She, the subject, comes, the verb. Now, when she comes home, all together is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. Okay, this is what I was telling you, right? If I say, when she comes home, what happened? Uh, she will prepare dinner. She will ask me to prepare a uh, dinner. She will ask me or she will talk to me. 
Okay. So these are the, in this case you need is a subordinated uh, or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. Not complete. It, okay, makes no sense. It depends on some other idea. What is the other idea? This one. The main clause. Okay, in the main clause you will find that she will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense alone. For example, she will read a bedtime story. Uh, it's a very general sentence, but you understand that a woman in the future, okay, future tense, will read a story. What kind of a story? A bedtime story for children. Okay, you can say she will watch a horror movie. Okay. Or oh, for example, you can say uh, Patricia will uh, watch a, a horror movie. And then it makes sense. It's no problem. Okay. But when you say, for example, when she comes home, she will watch a horror movie. Okay. So you see, this sentence is complete, but this sentence needs more information. Questions in this moment? For example, in, in the exam, uh, previous example, uh, mm -hmm. people get married in Japan. It's a complete idea, right? Yes. So uh, can, can, we say that, can we say that it is uh, in, independent, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but when we say when people get married in Japan, we need more information that that is the reason that uh, exactly. is independent. Uh -huh, okay. Because you're using when. Uh -huh, when people get yeah. married in Japan, uh -huh, what happens? They usually do it at a shrine. Okay, or uh, for example, when people get married in El Salvador, okay, they usually do it at a church. Mm -hmm. No, always, right? Because uh, sure. sometimes, uh -huh, sometimes some people do it in the in the ranch on the beach, okay? But it's not everybody, right? The majority usually do it at a church, okay? Mm -hmm. What else? No questions at this moment? Okay, let's continue with the exercise. She will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. Okay. So, what is before? The clause of time. Is Close time. Close of time. Uh -huh. By what time? Past. Yeah. Remember? Time. Time. Yes, in the past. Mm. Subordinating conjunction. Okay, it's a subordinating conjunction. Remember. The, the, I think that, uh -huh. One thing that you, you need to have clear are the concepts, right? For example, what is a clause? A sentence. A sentence, right? It's a sentence or clause. But sometimes this clause is dependent, right? And some other, uh, in some other cases is independent, right? Now, when you have here a conjunction, what is a conjunction? Is a word that helps us link or put together two ideas, okay? And why are they important or good in English? Because you now when we use this, because I can say, uh, people get married in Japan. They usually, uh, they usually uh, do it at the church, at the train. Uh, they have a reception. Uh, the guests give speeches. You see, I am only saying sentences, right? So my English doesn't sound very fluent, correct? 
Mm -hmm. when you okay. say, for example, but when you start using this uh, conjunction, say, when people get married in Japan, they usually do it at a spring. After the wedding or after the ceremony, they have a reception. Okay? Uh, before the, recep the reception finishes, the guests give the speeches. And after that, they give presents to the newlywed. So you see how the one idea is more fluent or sounds more fluent when we are using these conjunctions, right? So that is the importance of knowing when and how to use these conjunctions. Okay, so then uh, let's see. Okay, so we have before, we said it is a subordinated conjunction. She? Subject. The subject. subject, right? And when? The verb. Okay, when to is, is the action, right? Here we have, let's see. So let's do it together. Before, subordinating conjunction or... Okay, before, subordinating conjunction or adverb. You can call it adverb of time, okay? You see, one problem, um, I'm explaining this, but sometimes probably to, for you to be able to have the las herramientas, the tools to do it by yourself. But sometimes it's not important to know all this grammar unless you want to be a teacher, right? I mean, if you want to be a teacher, it's important because you need to explain, okay, or to know. But for you in this case, it's just to have the idea clear why it is important to use them, right? Because this is something that probably you will not uh, use when you speak, okay? Probably you will use it when you study. But you say before, subordinated conjunction or other. Sometimes they have two names, okay, or two nouns for the same uh, part, right? For the same uh, part of the speech. So before is a conjunction or other. She is the subject. Went is the verb. Before she went to school, subordinator or dependent clause. Because if you say before she went to school, what happened? If we only say she went to school, it's okay. Okay, she went to school yesterday. I she went to school this morning. But when you say before she went to school, then we need, how, what happened? We need more information, right? Okay. Dependent close. And then she finished all her homework. Okay, this is a sentence that is the main or principal idea for the independent clause. Okay. For adverb, she, the subject, went, the verb. Before she went to school is a subordinated or dependent clause. And she finished all her homework is a main or independent clause. Excellent, well done. Before we go, it is important for you to know that an adverbial clause of time can appear either at the beginning of the entire sentence or in the middle of it. It is okay to say, since they got married, they have traveled around the world, or they have traveled around the world since they got married. Okay, what is the difference? There is one little difference. And one is at, at the beginning and the other one is in the middle. Uh -huh. But other difference. Um, uh, the verb is uh, in the past tenses. Uh, yes, that's part of the sentence. Um, but what else? The comma? Yes, look at the comma. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. When you use since at the beginning, then you use a comma to separate the two. Yeah, principal idea. Uh-huh. Since they got married, uh-huh, they have traveled around the world. Or they have traveled around the world, that's the main idea, since they got married. Okay. 
Okay. The only difference is the use of a comma if the subordinating conjunction begins the sentence. Can you give us now two examples? Do so in our discussion box. In songs. Clauses, but in this session, real clauses. An adverb of time are easy to identify because they become when, after. Okay, when is like a specific moment, right? When do you go to school? On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, right? After is when the action is finished. Uh, before is before an event. Since, what was the sentence? Since. Disney. <laughs> you do something, but you don't do it anymore in a time. Mm -hmm. When you begin, begin until. Until. Look at this one. Until. Since they got married, they have traveled up, uh, around the world. They have traveled around the world since they got married. Since the beginning of this time, right? When did they get married? Probably in what? In December. So that means that they have traveled around the world since since that December. time. Since that uh -huh, since December. Since that time. Okay. Now, since has other meanings. After the right? this for you, so you real process. And I will identify because they begin with a support since and then we have also until okay until 10 o'clock so this class will uh, let's say uh, will be well this uh, course uh, this platform for you will be open until may 22nd right yes uh -huh. until that moment okay since and until okay since eight o'clock to or until uh, 10 o'clock. While you can watch your mobile phone while you work. While you work, okay, during, right? During a period of time. Okay, for example, uh, you can do the exercise, you can, you can ask questions while I am explaining, right? So then that means that you can interrupt, right? No problem. And whenever it's like, you know, any time. You, can, you uh -huh. can practice English whenever you want. Whenever you want, whenever okay. you have an opportunity, okay? Mm -hmm. Whenever you feel confident, okay? Mm -hmm. Right? Whenever you see a, a chance to do it, okay? Right? So then this is, you know, the way that we use these expressions. So, teacher, uh -huh. those words are. Uh, the name of those of those words are adverbs. No, I'm sorry. They are, um, they are conjunctions. Adverbs. They are adverbs, but they are also conjunctions. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Then you can find it. Sometimes uh, the problem is uh, that sometimes in English they don't have a, a real academy of the language, like mm -hmm. in Spanish, right? In Spanish we have la, la la Real Academia de la Lengua, and they they, what they say is what we use in the language, correct? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, they approve. Uh, mm -hmm. In this case, in, in English, is uh, this is done by dictionaries. Like for example, in the United, in the United States, I is Webster, Merriam-Webster is one of the, I mean, the top dictionary where you can find a lot of information about grammar, okay? Mm. And, if you want to make sure about something, you go to Webster. And in England, the British English, they have the Oxford, okay? Oxford uh, Express and then Oxford Dictionary. For them, this is the top, right? So then uh, that's why sometimes you will find uh, some differences, okay? okay. Oxford, teacher. Uh-huh. Oxford is better than 
Cambridge. Mm, no, because I think Cambridge it, what I've also, heard is the opposite, right? The, that is Cambridge. Some people uh -huh. are Cambridge because now some people say that Oxford is more, in some cases, like more commercial, right? But okay, okay. for me, both, both are the same. That they have okay, okay. Because level of difficulty probably sometimes Cambridge can be more, Cambridge is more, uh, more strict sometimes in some exams or certification. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like A1, A2, B1. Uh -huh, with the le how it, no, but that's uh, the, the levels, uh, that's according to the European framework. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. We have a reference, uh, but that is for all the European community, right? Okay, example, okay. That if you go to, suppose that you travel to, uh, let's say to Ireland, right? To Ireland, and then uh, they ask you, what's your... English level, and they say, "Oh, mine is uh, B2." Oh, okay. okay. So then, uh, then they they give you an exam, and then and they they have you a, need to uh, they you need to to take a test, and if you mm -hmm. reach the the score according mm -hmm. to B2, they say, "Okay, yes, you are a B2 English." Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. They okay. Have, they, it's like the TOEFL, like the mm -hmm. IELTS, all those exams that people take to know exactly what level of English they have. Okay, you, okay. It's not that you it's a aplacel exam, no. Those exams, yes, those exams only tell you the level that you have. Okay. Esos exámenes nunca se reprueban, right? People say, ah, que lo, no lo voy a pasar. No, I mean, it's just that the exam will tell just the level. Determine what level you are. Uh-huh, what, what level you are. Yes, you are in. Okay, okay. Okay, good. All right, so then uh, let's see some practice. Now we have a, now I want you to practice some sentences using uh, when, before, after, right? So we're going to, to have some groups so that you can uh, practice. Okay, so we have, here we go. Okay, you're getting your invitations. Hello, Evelyn. Are you there? Evelyn? Did you get the invitation? Hi. Hello, hello.
I have a breakfast here. Okay. Um, uh, when I get up in the morning, I, I, I have to drink a cup of coffee every day. Well, when I finish uh, this quarantine, I I go to the beach. <laughs> I hope. <so. laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. We like to go to a river. Uh -huh. For example. When I visit to my family, we I'll, like. We like. To go to river. To, to the we, river. We we get. We we like to go to the river. We like to go. Ah, okay. When when I visit to my family, she said, we like to go to the river. To mm -hmm. the river. Mm -hmm. When I visit okay. my family, we like to go to the river. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, so far, we have these three examples. The first one from Yesenia was, when I got married, I had 27 years old. I was. I, I when, got when, married, I, uh, okay, when I, I got, was. when I got married, mm -hmm. I had, no, I, I was. was. I, was. It, I was, okay. I was 27 when years I old. Married. I for, was 27 okay. years old. That's correct. Yes. Okay. Now you can use remember whenever until. For example, uh, I, let's say uh, I eat cake whenever I want to eat something sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I drink coffee whenever I feel sleepy. Mm -hmm. Or whenever I feel sleepy, I drink coffee. Okay. Got it. Okay. Or. Uh, okay. I drink uh, cold water whenever I feel hot. Okay, so you can use those. All right, good. Okay. okay all right, so. Continue. Or repeat it, please. I forgot. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, what's up, teacher? No. Um, what sentence are you using? So what uh, conjunctions? All of them. Oh. But uh, I have a question. Uh -huh. Can we can we use can we use since for in this sentence? I've been waiting for you since the afternoon. Since this afternoon. Uh -huh. Since this afternoon. Since three o'clock. Mm -hmm. Since this afternoon. Yes, you can use that one. No problem. It's okay. Yes, it is. Okay, I, I have another one. Mm -hmm. I've been doing exercise since twenty since twenty twenty eighteen. Since twenty eighteen, yes. Uh huh. Exactly, it's about for two years more or less, right? Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Good. And like with using before and after in in this sentence. Uh, remember to practice English before and after your English English class. Exactly right. You can use before. And remember to practice your English before and after the class, or before and after your English class. Excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, good. Keep on practicing. Yeah. Right. Use when uh, use until. Uh, can we? Whenever. Okay. All those. Hello. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hi. Fine. Long, long time no see since last Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah, that's right. How's the practice? Any questions? Any questions? No, no, no. No? Oh, it's clear like a water, like a <laughs> <laughs> like, like that's a water. 
the water. water, right? <laughs> That's right. Like the horchata. It's right. not crystal clear, teacher. Huh? Okay, it's so, not like a crystal clear. <laughs> okay, good. Yes, just remember, you know, just here what you have to know is just the meaning of the word, right? Until, as it, yeah. whenever, when, before, and after. And then you can, and remember that you can use it at the beginning of the sentence, then you separate the com with the comma, or you can use it at the end of the sentence, right? And the meaning, and the meaning is always the same, right? It doesn't change. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why yeah, we have to be careful. Uh -huh. We talked with Robert about the, how do you forget the English before you're studying? Mm -hmm. Because yes. uh, we never practice and, and forgot the, like, uh, the use of this word, until, since. Mm -hmm, exactly. Right, so this, uh, this is a vocabulary that if you don't put it in practice usually, and they are very, and it's very frequent to use, we, we need it, you know, we need to use this vocabulary almost every day, right? For example, uh, I, I, I would say, for example, I'll be home until the quarantine is over. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, mm -hmm. I won't be able to visit my mom before the quarantine ends. It's, it's, no, it's it not finished, no end. End, uh -huh, ends. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Or it's finished, ends or it's finished. Uh -huh. Now you can use you, you can, can say, use both. Yes. Uh, for example, I will visit, uh, but I use it in negative. I won't be able to visit my mom before the quarantine ends. In affirmative, I will be able to visit my mom after the quarantine is finished or ends. Okay? So this is, you know, how we can, you can practice and play with the vocabulary, the structures, and and manipulate, right, uh, the, the structures. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, see you later. I hey think. Guys. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Any, any questions? Uh, here we have one sentence that I did say, uh, I did say, I did, I did say that the sentence says, she danced after your work. And this case is a uh, adverb, the, 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 the after, no a conjunction. Or no, not. I mean, uh, after is never a verb, right? Never. Okay. You can say, for example, uh, I did will dance after okay. work. Okay, or oh, she will dance after work. Uh, after work, I they will dance. Okay, but this case you want, we, it's only one one action, one sentence, or not? Uh, or two sentences, two actions? Two actions, uh -huh. Okay, or sometime, in this, in this example, in this example, after work is, is a, in that case, is a noun, okay? After dinner, huh? I they will dance is the action. After is the conjunction. And work is a noun. It's a noun. Mm -hmm. Después del trabajo, right? Yeah. Right. Now, you can, but you can use another scent, another verb. For example, I they will dance after she finishes work okay we used two okay. two birds uh -huh. one, one depend one dependent saying one independent sense one dependent oh. one independent uh-huh okay okay but well continue practicing okay okay <laughs> yeah i try to to understand everything that the teacher is saying to us <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, 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 yes! I can see that. Okay, how's everything? Good? No problem? No questions? Yeah. Sure. No problem. Hey, hello, Liz. How are you? Hi, teacher. Everything's good, and you? Okay, great, excellent. Okay. Uh, okay. 
uh, they say that Avianca is living the country, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah they, are, they are bankrupt, okay? They are... Yes. Is it true? I hear no, that. that's not, that's a lie. I hope, I hope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because there are too many, too many uh, uh, employments, right? Yeah. A lot of people that without work, without jobs, yeah. it's, it's not good for the economy. Okay, good. Now, no questions about the before, until, no? No. After, when, After, when whenever. <laughs> whenever. Remember, you can ask me whenever you have a doubt. This is an example. Okay? Okay. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now let's see. Okay. In okay. In Hi, Dio. How are you your quarantine? <laughs> uh, very busy. <laughs> <laughs> just don't work. Yeah. Uh, no. yeah. Oh, oh, yes, you, you, you have to work. In, yeah, we're, we're working. Yeah. In your house? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you do the exercise three point four. Four. Oh. All right. So then, uh, hey, Ron is here, but yes, but you you don't have the control today. No. Okay. Good. I have a phone. But when I <laughs> use the computer, I have a control. Okay, but so I, then uh, when you have the computer, so when you have the computer, you're dangerous. Yes, <laughs> it's my job. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, fine. Okay, people. Now, if you don't have uh, more questions about it, then we're going to move on to the next topic. So, um, so that you can start uh, also with the test, right? The the midterm exam. So we have a knowledge check here. Okay, we're gonna see if you have a uh, understood or if you have any questions. So there are only six, right? Okay, good. So we have the first one here. Okay, and I have the first one here on the. Sure. Say when a couple gets engaged, the man. Often, often is a mistake here. Often is with N, not with M. Okay, mm -hmm. place for the wedding and reception. Go on short trip call a honeymoon. Give the bride and groom a gift for some money. Gives the woman diamond ring. Begin to plan the wedding. Date each other for about a gift. Give the woman, Give the woman diamond, ring. diamond rings. Here uh, with the woman a ring, the woman a diamond, diamond ring. Diamond diamond ring. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I think just that's in the, true. That's in the pictures. In the movie. <laughs> just in the movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah, sorry. yeah that's <laughs> Ronnie. That's Ronnie. Yeah. Ronnie, <laughs> Ronnie, don't be stingy, Ronnie. Uh, well, I and I, I, I didn't do the number one. Wait a minute. I skipped number one. Sorry. Before I get a uh, man and a woman get married, they usually. Pays for the wedding, go on a trip, give the bride and groom a gift, give the out. ring, <laughs> begin to plan the wedding, <laughs> or date each other. Date each, each other. Date each other for about a year. Date? Honeymoon. 
Oh, it's before a woman. Ah, before. Ah, uh, in El Salvador it's before. <laughs> They have our children. <laughs> now, now I'm sure that Ronnie knows how before, to do before. Yeah, yeah. Before uh, the man and woman get married, they have children. They have children. <laughs> in El Salvador. Yes. Yeah, El Salvador is very special. Yes. In, many, in many other issues too. Yeah. In, in many before other people, and after. Country is another. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so what's the number one it's here? They <laughs> date each they other for about a year. For about a year. Date each other for about a year. They date each other for our. Then the number two, we have it. Three. Right after a couple gets engaged, usually. <laughs> Yeah, right, Ronnie. <laughs> you know? You're right. I, I don't say anything. Yeah, but you think it. Just, yes, I think just, it. Just, just, keep, just keep it in mind, Ronnie. Just keep it in mind. Yeah. <laughs> Begin to plan the wedding. Right after a couple gets engaged, they usually... Begin to plan the wedding. Begin to plan the wedding. Begin to plan the wedding, right? Begin to plan the wedding, Begin yes. to plan the wedding. That I think <laughs> they go first to the, the honeymoon. <laughs> When a woman Be, gets before. married, her the whole, family usually the honeymoon is the is the whole question. Pays uh, when a woman gets married, her family usually pays for the wedding and reception. Yes. No, no. Yes. Well, no. Uh, her family, the family usually lives to them to the live to the <laughs> to the couple. <laughs> Either, uh -huh. Nowadays, yes. Nowadays, it's more common to, to see. But the, the tradition, you know, the tradition is this one, right? But nowadays, uh, it's difficult for some uh, economical issues. And then the, the couple, you know, each one, you know. Yes. In, El, in El Salvador, the, the mother-in-law is live with a couple. <laughs> everyone pays for, for their consume. Yes. They need to uh, go to own his port. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Five. When people are invited to a wedding, they almost always um, give the bride, the bride and groom a gift. The bride and groom a gift for money some or for some money. Give the bride and groom a gift for some, for some money. Okay, and the last one? Uh, yeah. Yes, they Ronnie. go to the honeymoon. <laughs> right after a couple gets married, they usually. Uh -huh, so, Ronnie, uh, sure. Let, let Ronnie say that. Honeymoon. 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 No, <laughs> the, the people pay. Oh, and sorry. God. And you can see it's a short trip. If they have the, the economical also, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a very yeah, short, sort of happy time. <laughs> yes. Okay. After a see. year, they will be in trouble. <laughs> they will be in trouble, yes. <laughs> okay, number six is right. Number five, two. Number four, number three. Number two, and number one. Okay? Great. You see, you shouldn't have a problem, you know, with the... Uh, with the knowledge checks. Okay, good. Now, and the last one I think is a reading here. As I said, in this class, you will practice your reading skill for better understanding when scanning. Remember what I told you the scanning the other day, right? When we look for some specific information and understanding reference words. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you done this exercise? Yes. No? Yes? No, yet. No, yet. No, no yet. yet. No, no, yet. But first, I think we're going to see if we can, uh, if we can read it. Because this is 
It looks blurry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, can you see it? What do you? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Okay. Uh, Veronica, can you please read the first one? Okay. January 17, it's an Antony's Day in Mexico. It's a day when people ask for protection for the animals by bringing them to church. But before the animals go into the church, the people usually dress them up in flowers and ribbons. And ribbons. Okay, good. Uh, I don't know what the meaning of ribbons. Ribbons. Uh, yes. Um, listones. Yes. The ribbon is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a band, is a band. Arcoiris. Like, no, 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 no. It's not a. That's a rainbow. A ribbon yeah. is usually a. Uh, have you seen the yeah. presents when you go when you see a gift? Uh, uh -huh. Well, the, but the, <laughs> sin, uh -huh, but the, but that uh, those are made of ribbons. Okay. Yeah. So los listones that they use to to make all the the, the arrangement for the for the gift. But mm -hmm. it's not the same uh, from the shoes, right? Two laces, no, not as different. No. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, good. Then uh, now, uh, Jorge Lemus, can you please read number two? Okay. Oh, I in August, yes. Uh, on the lunar calendar, Korean celebrate the two stock. Two stock. Also, now is Korean Thanksgiving. It's a day when the people give thanks for the harvest. Korean families honor their uh, ancestors by going to gates to take taking. Rice and uh, food to display the gravity. Great sites. Great, great, great sites. Uh -huh. Like the cemetery. They go to the cemetery, right? Like uh, Los Illustres Cemetery, the great sites. Okay. The sites is the place where the tombs, where the graves are. Great sites. Great sites. Great sites, right? In the, in the, the general cemetery. Okay, Roberto Barata, would you please read number three? Okay. Long ago in India, a princess who needed help sent her silk uh, bracelet on a emperor. 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 Also, he did not arrive in time to help her. He kept the bracelet as a sign of the bond between them. Today in India, during the festival of Raki, men promise to be loyal to the woman. and exchange, the woman give, give them a bracelet of silk, cotton of gold, the three... Okay. Gold thread? Gold thread. Thank you. Okay. Questions? I have no questions. Okay. What is what is bond? A sign of a sign of, of the bond between connection. <coughs> bond is like the connection, the the, chem, the chemical connection they have. Okay. Okay, and during the festival of Raki is the name, right? Raki is the name of the, the festival. Like when you say San Miguel, Carnaval de San Miguel, right? Or something, the name for it. Hey, teacher, what does mean alto in Spanish? Wow. What? Alto. 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 Yes, Alto. Thank you. Okay. You know, the the other one, this is uh, 
another uh, conjunction that you can also use. Uh, it's, it's similar to in fact. Mm -hmm. In fact, however. Okay, or however. Okay, thank you. Okay, Yesenia. Okay, you read the number four. Uh, yes. One of the biggest celebration in Argentina is New Year's Eve. One the even of December 31, families get together and have a big meal. At night, fireworks explode everywhere and continue uh, through, throughout. Throughout, throughout the night. This is a day when friends and family meet for parties, uh, which lasts until the next morning. Okay, you see the word until, right? Okay, no problem? No, no problem. No, no problem. Okay, good. Eric, read the last one. Okay. On the evening. On the evening of February 3rd, People in Japan celebrate the end of winter and the beginning of spring. This is known as Setsumbun. Family members throw dried beans around their homes, shouting, good luck in. Evil spreads out. After they throw the beans, they pick them up and eat one bean for each year of their age. Okay. No problem. Japanese is a uh, weird. No, yes, they have very traditions, traditions <laughs> uh -huh, and things about the connections with the nature. So this one yes, is, my, is really weird. <laughs> uh -huh, yes. Imagine this is the the end of winter and the beginning of the spring, right? So I think it's some similar to the equinoxial, right? So I have the, when you have the the beginning of the spring. Uh, yes. Okay. So that is something similar to that. Okay, good. Now let's see. Okay. Then here, for example, I will then uh, probably you can do this one and tomorrow we're gonna do it as a group because you will have to read what is them in part one, line and two. And tomorrow we answer these three, sorry, these six uh, questions, okay, referring to that, okay? okay. And cool. uh, let me see, tomorrow, okay, I guess the next one, uh -huh, you have the midterm exam, right? Okay, so uh, you can do the, the midterm exam. And tomorrow we will, we will begin the section four. Okay? Okay. 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 Uh, if you have any doubts or questions about the midterm, let me know. But you have a, like three days in order to do it, right? You have some time. But start doing it now. If you already did it, no problem. Okay? But if you okay, haven't done you. it, then it's okay. time to start. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, okay. buddy. So that's okay. all for now, folks. And remember, remember, Bunny? The cartoon? Yeah, I remember. That's, that's, all, that's all for now, folks. <laughs> that's all for now, folks. And that was quirky, right? Okay, bye. Have a nice turn to your house. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, Ronnie. Take care. See you. Bye, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night.